right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm sitting here with Anthem Blanchard from Hercules Supply Chain Protocol. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a regular thing here where he's going to be telling us a little bit about what's going on in the news with, with Hercules. Um, it seems I'm seeing stuff on my feed every day. You guys have a lot of cool stuff going on. So thanks so much for being on the show, Anthem. Um, one thing I want you to start with, go over the acronym for Herc, because I know it has a bit more meaning than just, you know, Hercules. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. So thank you again. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, Herc, H-E-R-C, helping H-E eradicate our racketeering and collusion C. So okay. H-E-R-C, the first, the first four letters in Hercules. And Hercules, the myth of Hercules is kind of the ancient saga of trade and commerce and the lines and money, like dollar, all symbols of currency come from the, the Straits and Hercules and the Argonauts crossing. So this kind of some cool uh, background etymology. That's awesome, man. I like when things have more than one meaning. So what kind of problem in a nutshell is Hercules solving right now? And, and like what makes you guys a little different from, you know, a standard supply chain? Yeah, so the way that Hercules helps eradicate racketeering collusion is through indisputable data integrity. So we anchor into Bitcoin using Factum and then that gives us price certainty. So Someone can use our service and it costs literally, it's like uh, three thousandths of a penny, you know, roughly to use it. So someone could use uh, Hercules a million times and it would cost them $32. So it, it's really, really incredible. It's super flexible. Um, you know, it can really tell you what anything is or isn't indisputably. And it's really, really accessible. Yeah. And, so, and permanently viewable to anyone that wants to look because it's all stored on the blockchain, right? Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and it's, it's, you know, what the price is going to be like part of the problem with Bitcoin, Ethereum raw is that the price was, we know gas for ether goes all the way around, you know, and the number of Satoshis to make a Bitcoin transaction goes all the way, you know, yeah. thousands of times. Right. So what we've kind of done is put saddles kind of on these different, you know, Ethereum on Bitcoin. And then we've, integrated games so like let people play video games so it's called hyper h-i-r-p dot okay. one another website to kind of check out we're doing proof of human work so literally people playing games and they get to uh, help secure the integrity of our hercules protocol and they earn perk tokens so if they want to start playing puzzle games they can h-i-p-r um, uh, dot one um, so it's human um, initiated performance report is what that acronym is and it's dot one just like our herc dot one website so yeah we're super super excited that's awesome and you guys have a lot of cool stuff going on so let's talk about your crowd funder because that's something that's live right now um so walk us through that a little bit I can, i'll pull it up on the screen here i yeah, appreciate it so yeah we're the first uh organization ever on crowdfunder to be um featured so Crowdfunder is massive. They've done, hundred, they've done hundreds of millions of dollars. And traditionally, crowdfunding or um, you know, crowd you know, source from crowd or um, you know, uh, uh, Reg D kind of offerings. And we're really the first true software access key that's you know, mainnet launch. We launched Hercules mainnet uh, on October 29th. So we're live software and it's a test run. So we're trying to just make Hercules accessible to as wide of an audience as possible. That's awesome. And I'm glad you guys did it that way. You know, you went really against the grain of what we saw in 2017 with these thousands of ICOs coming out, you know, raising all this money, raising all this capital, you know, on false promises and, you know, never actually delivering a working product. So you guys kind of flipped that script on its back and made everything functional, you know, before you started raising money. So that's, that's, you know, shows a lot of a lot of confidence in what you guys have got going. So, uh, run me through the numbers here a little bit. So, I'm seeing here you're about 50% funded. You have a five million dollar uh, funding goal, a um, hundred dollar minimal uh, minimum reservations, and there's still 318 days left uh, on this crowdfunder. So, run me through that a little bit. Yeah. So, we're really just anticipating a pretty minimal, you know, initial tranche here on crowdfunder. So. We're kind of testing the waters. We're, we're not expecting much, but basically what we're saying, you know, let's see what we can do. Um, you know, we're really kind of looking at a lot of the more traditional routes, like, um, you know, talking to people privately about our, our software access keys, the Hertz. And then we're also listed on a lot of uh, secondary digital asset um, platforms, uh, 
we announced a press release that AP News covered last week of GoBetrayed, um, which is a top 10 uh, platform. Um, IDAX, we had announced a little earlier, which is a top, I think, uh, 15 right now platform. And awesome. And then run LA token and system coin. And those are traditional ways that traditional crypto um, token aficionados can reach us. But, you know, we wanted to offer this other way in crowdfunder. So even, you know, lay people relative to crypto and noobs and, and everyone can kind of enter in and and not be intimidated. So, well, that's good, you know, because you see a lot of companies right now that really are trying to keep everything crypto. And I don't think society is at that point yet. I think by doing that, you're kind of creating, a, you know, like a, a border for people to get into the system. Um, so by opening it up, doing it on Crowdfunder, you guys are able to accept credit cards for people to get involved. Um, I think that's really smart. Uh, let's Thank hop you. over to Coin Market Cap really quick. So we here on Coin Market Cap, we've got the top hundred cryptocurrency exchanges by trade volume. Um, number nine, Doby Trade. You guys are listed on Doby Trade right now. Uh, when did that happen? When when did the when did her get listed on there? Yeah, we just announced a week ago. So we're literally, you know, just in early communications with Coin Market Cap because they require a couple different uh, exchanges. Are really in our case, we call them digital asset platforms, but Coin Market Cap refers to them as exchanges. So, um, but you know, really, um, for us, we're really honored. We're flattered. You know, we think it's indicative of the fact that we've got working software and yeah. People excited about working software in the public blockchain space so we've got the the token the software access token the, the ERC, and then we've also got the working software so you'll see us actually listed on coin market cap you know probably in the next week or two so that's awesome man getting that's through. exciting that's a milestone that's that's yeah. something that needs to be celebrated man maybe uh maybe we'll hop on a video on that day and actually you know talk about it and show some stats on coin market cap that's really wicked so you guys right now her tokens available on four exchanges you're going to be able to grab it on Doby trade number nine yeah. idax number 11 if we scroll down a little bit more we've got number 32 la token uh and they're doing over a billion dollars of, of, of volume you know, per month right now. So they're a pretty large exchange. And system coin. So uh, lots of places to grab the Herc tokens. Um, that's pretty incredible stuff, man. I've been, I've been flipping through you guys' website. I really like the look of that too. So um, tell, me, tell me a little bit about like, what, what's happening over this next week. What can yes. people expect to see? You know, ex expect to see more about the software and supply chain software. Expect to see more about the use cases of Hercules being implemented. And we're going to start making some announcements there. And we're excited about that. I mean, we're really trying to go full throttle. The fact that we've got working public blockchain software that's got real economics, real use case. I mean, supply chain, everything in commerce is supply chain and trade. Everything needs it. So, well, I mean, look at look at look at the problem we have right now in Canada. We've got uh, a lot of our romaine lettuce being recalled from E. coli. People can't even eat healthy right now. So, you know, how could how could supply chain help kind of fix that problem? Yeah, so it can provide indisputable evidence about when something went bad. Yeah. The problem is that nobody, everybody wants to pass the buck, right? Nobody wants to be liable because then you're liable. So. But, you know, unfortunately, somebody's got to be held responsible. So, you know, what blockchain, public blockchain does, it gives you indisputable proof. So you can't have collusion between the players because if you tie something into Bitcoin, Ethereum, storage, IPFS, like we do with Hercules, as well as Hercules itself, then it provides all of these different network software that have never been taken down and, you know, ultimately into Bitcoin itself. So... You know, it, it provides such a, an incredible amount of security. I mean, especially in a day and age, we just saw what uh, Starwood, I think, uh, hotels and Marriott was the latest to uh, announce like half, half a million, million or something. I mean, it's incredible, right? So, centralized software isn't secure by nature. That's why the Defense Department in the U.S. has been hacked. That's why Equifax, and Deloitte have all been hacked. And really, everybody's been hacked. It's just only the select few that actually announce it and actually have the integrity and knowledge to know, you know, so, but that's why public blockchain software is vital to the future prosperity of our world. That's 
Yeah, absolutely. And you guys are building up a really good community right now online. So um, there's a couple places that people can kind of stay up to date with Hercules. Um, one of that being the Telegram group. Um, people can hop on there. You guys are extremely active on the Telegram group. Uh, I definitely recommend everyone go check out herc.one. Check out their website, read through what they're doing, connect with them on social media, guys, ask them some questions, check out their roadmap. Um, there's going to be a lot of amazing stuff coming out about Hercules. They're going to be all over the place. Um, you know, so stay up to date with a project that actually built themselves up before they went to market. Um, a project that's got, you know, a real team behind them, people that are dedicated uh, to making this thing a huge success and, and really end racketeering and, and solve a lot of real world problems. So uh, I want to thank you one more time for coming on the show, Anthem. Uh, we're going to chat next week. I'd love to make this a regular yeah. thing. Um, anything you want to add in before I, uh, before I end this up? Me too. Uh, at this, I'm grateful. Thank you, Sean. It's a real pleasure. And yeah, let's see, uh, let's see where we can roll this. So awesome. Wicked man. Herc.one guys, check it out and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.